Okay, what's up guys? Doing the recap. I kind of just explained what his new abilities are. And um what he learns. He also ran I forgot the um the Rasengan. Which I'll say he combines with all the chakra natures. Of course making the vanish from Rasengan, exploding Rasengan, fire explosion. All you guys can probably think of. And he reacts his energy. So whenever he walks up onto the scene, this is whenever I'll say Sasuke feels that his energy seems to be even higher than normal. Way higher, almost godly level. And people feel this in the sand. Night, and it says it's not even comparable to the Shinkakus. The Shinkaku is not comparable to it. And he walks in. This is whenever the match starts. I'll say it is Rock Lee versus Neji. Um, Sasuke versus, you know, um, Orochimaru's dude, I forgot his name, Kabuto. Yeah. And Naruto versus Gara. So he would be stronger than Gara that he normally fought, but it doesn't really matter. And this is one of her Sasuke. I'll say he already seen one of the moons and he already told him about the whole thing. And this is whenever he sees Naruto pull up the thing. And he already told him if he released it, all his energy, the moons will turn blood red. And whenever he pulls it out, he sees the bread lit red crescent moons. And that's whenever Sasuke knows that he's going to fall out. With nobody really knowing it, but they all see... Sasuke opened his eyes widely and all that. But this is whenever Naruto runs in with Gara doing a huge sand tsunami with actual hand signs. And this would cause. Oh, yeah, I think that's what Magnum Release also does is let them use sand style without hand signs. But, yeah. Sinner Sand Tsunami with Naruto having red sand come up from the ground and go straight through it with a slicing technique. Him running up on him, taking out his blade, and uses. He pretty much. You guys know what Yin Yang release actually does. It lets things that are not there, like. The unthinkable reality is what the Otsutsukis have pretty much a mastery of. This is whenever he would put the blade around, put pure chakra around the blade. Not looking like like it's really there, it looks see-through. Almost like the Suzuno blade. And he strikes with Gara putting up a defense. And this is when Gara shoots out. He uses a panda bear with the sword going into it. When the sword goes into it, he pretty much makes a spear, try to hit him with it. Of course, Naruto dodges, and that's when he says, useless. We're seeing red sand going over his hands, touching the guard of sand, overflowing it, and the teddy bear would, or the panda bear would turn around. And hit Gar or try to hit Gar with spikes. Gar would protect himself with sand and jump back. This is whenever Naruto would say, "Whatever." Puts his sword back in the sheath behind his back. Pull it out with nine cylinder attacks coming out with it. A red energy with those chakram looking things getting shot out. Cutting through his sand and hitting him in the chest, cutting, destroying his armor away and cutting him. And but yeah, I left off in the middle of a blab. This is whenever I'll say 
you know, Gara would shoot sand, trying to pumbling from top, mimicking the Shinkaku's tails because he still uses the Shinkaku kind of moves. Trying to hit him, but this is whenever he would would pretty much say fire style, majestic flame destroyer jutsu, flame throwing everything, turning to glass. Well, it wouldn't work like that because there's chakra, but I'll say this would stop it from moving and turning it into glass. But I just say it does that. But it'll break free after a while, and this one will come down. And that's when we say, whatever, I'm done, done holding back. I'll just like one strong attack with him absorbing it with one hand, enhancing it with all his chakra. Or because I think it does actually double the damage whenever he absorbs it with his hand. And this is whenever he would pretty much shoot it back with a gigantic clap, pretty much. Hitting Gara, Gara getting knocked out. Everybody's battles, but the attack still happens. But whenever the attack happens, this is whenever Shinkaku would jump out of Naruto and try to fly off in his mini form. He would summon him really far away, but this is when Naruto would ch chase after him and all that. He would fight him, and this is whenever he would feel a sensation of the third Okage getting in danger he'll be trying to fly back of course but this is going to be noticed that he's not going to make it because he feels his life force straining away this is where he activates his running guns ability he will stop time and continuously go for 10 minutes this is where he thinks he's about to get there about two minutes away and time stop stop and he, once he gets there or he has want more time to get there and now I'll, I'll say he had a shock on there and a whole bunch of them watching it and he's trying to help them by using long range moves to hold it back or try to destroy the field but it's not working while we seeing the third Okage dying and about to do the last Reaper death seal and he's already been spamming the time thing. This one he says, I just need more time. Pull, going into his bag, pulling out every fruit that he had, and carves down. That would cause him to be even stronger. And his chakra to spike up way beyond that it's normally limited to. This is over he would blast off with all his chakra. Getting in there? This is where we see Orochimaru about stabbing him in the back, and he would freak out. This is whenever his horns would turn black at the tips. His uh, his Renegon ability would turn red, and all that. He's getting amped up with chakra, and all that. And now these, whenever the orbs, the six pack of orbs would appear behind them, and that's where he says, I want it all to disappear. Creating a warp in between running into it, coming right next to Orochimaru. And this is where he would take Orochimaru by the eye, grab him in the throat. And that's where he would um, stop time again. And he would start, he would grab his hand into him. Ripping out all of his chakra. And he restarts time. This is where he would stab him in the eye. Ripping them out. This is whenever he's going to stick his hand into his body. And rip out his soul. And that's when all his, even his life force chakra would be absorbed out. And that's whenever Rochimaru is seemingly dead because we all know that he can come back through curse marks. And yeah. This is where you see Naruto gain a Geki Genkai by eating uh, Hansen's body with chakra and Sage Chakra. 
would also make it even more enhanced. So this would cause them to have a kicking called called Steel Release. And if you guys are wondering, there is actually a Geki Ginkai named Steel I've been looking through releases for in Naruto, and I came across this one. I was going to do What If About It, but I was like, I did do some research on the Otsuki, and they can learn techniques by looking at stuff, and if they eat enough chakra fruits, they can learn the Geki Ginkai without being the bloodline. So this would also, so yeah. This causes him to have steel release. Steel release would be more like wood release where it comes out the ground, but it also can form around Naruto's hands. And this would be able to make him turn his kunais into liquid metal and trap people, is what it's used for pretty much. We haven't seen a lot of steel release, but we know it exists at least. And swift release, or swift, swift release. It's another one that we only seen once. But yeah. After unlocking this ability, he would have a whole bunch of metal liquid ties in front of him. And this is whenever he'll turn it into. He would pretty much just keep it in bowling in his hands, pretty much. And that's when you see him walk off. Do you guys not know that Mud Release, does, it's actually called Mud Release. I guess it's like, we know they can do Mud Wall, but that doesn't mean they have Mud Release. But I have to search that up because I've seen it, and which I don't think it actually is Mud, like, like Earth Style Mud Wall. But it'll be like Mud Style Mud Wall would make it probably stronger or something, I'm not completely sure. But yeah. But this is wonderful. He would get up to Huruzen, the third Okage, and he would use Yin Yang release, which most people already have. That was like the original ninjutsus and stuff. And this has been shown that it pretty much makes anything pos anything impossible possible. Naruto used it to even replace the eye. And stuff, but he has to have a reference to another eye to do it. And in this battle, I would say that Kakashi lost the eye, his other eye, not his Sharingan eye. And he would heal Ruzen. And even Ampana with Chakra, he would go up to Kakashi, touch his eye, copying his Sharingan on one side, giving him two Sharingans. And making it natural to him where he doesn't have the chakra drain. On this, remember, you'll get to Sasuke. Whenever he goes up to Sasuke, he would touch him in the eyes, unlocking his third, his last Tomoe, and I'll say introducing him into his Mangeku just because. And he would just go around, hopping around, and healing people and stuff. Even sometimes bring people back to life with the Guardian of Hell. All the Shinobis and all that, even the Sand Shinobi. And that's where I'm going to leave it off.